Now, much like it took over for mountain biking, road tubeless is becoming the choice for an increasing number of road cyclists logging big miles out on the road. So the word is out that tubeless has some major advantages, yet so many cyclists out there have a lot of concerns and questions about this tire choice. Well, Zip have actually kindly stepped in to help on today's video to answer some of those questions and to debunk some of those myths. They've also kindly given me a nice 404 NSW front and an 808 NSW rear in tubeless setup with their Zip Tangent tires. And conveniently, Zip are just down the road here in Kona. So we're about to jump on the bike, poodle down and meet up with one of their specialists. Right, so we're now here with Ben, the design engineer for Zip. So perfect man to answer some of the common questions we get at GTN on tubeless wheels. Now, we've actually got this bike set up here with the Zip 404 on the front and 808 on the rear, which I believe is your most popular option here for the Ironman World Championships in Kona. Yep. Today at Bike Check-In, we're gonna see a lot of athletes roll through with 404 and 808 combo. Cool, so I'm gonna ask you a few questions that we keep getting about tubeless wheels. So the first one is, can you set up any wheel as tubeless? Unfortunately, no. Um, there's a very specific tubeless profile that has a, a pretty uh, specific interaction with the tire to help it seal perfectly. So if you take just any old clincher rim and try to put tubeless tape on it um, with a clincher tire or a tubeless ready tire, there's not gonna be that nice geometric lock um, to get a good seal. Yeah, because it's almost like a lip that comes yep. out, isn't it? So it locks Exactly. In, it? And I guess a uh, similar question then, on a tubeless wheel, can you put any tire on to make it tubeless? Well, you can put a tubeless ready tire or a clincher tire on it. So it has the same like hooks as a normal clincher. So a tubeless ready wheel, you could throw a tube in it, throw the normal tire on that you're running on your normal clincher and you're just fine. Okay, but obviously you can't just put a clinch tire on and try and set that up as Nope, it's not gonna be very successful. <laughs> Another question we've got is, is there actually really any difference between the number of flats you get on a tube tire versus a tubeless tire? Definitely, and tubeless really helps with two things. Pinch flats, so there's no tube in there to actually pinch. Whenever you hit a really big bump and your tire compresses, you don't pinch your tube and then go flat on your normal clincher. And like small punctures, the sealant that you put inside of your tubeless tire will, is, is that, you get that small puncture and air is rushing out, the sealant will go there, there's little particulates in the sealant and we'll seal it right up. Cool, and then um, another question we get a lot is about traveling with tubeless wheels or tires. So um, obviously there's the worry that there's this, this fluid in there yep. and then you want to let the pressure out to travel with the wheels. What would you suggest? Normally, whenever we travel with them, like we came to Hawaii here, um, just let a few PSI out kind of like you would because whenever they're in the airplane or whatever container, they're going to get really hot and they might expand a little bit. But yeah, you just let a little bit of air out and normally they stay locked in just like a clincher would and there's really no issues with it whatsoever. Is there a, you know, an issue if you do let too much out? Can it sort of come off the off the rim? Yeah, if you let a lot of air out, sometimes it'll fall down into the well there, the, the, the beads of the tire, and then you might leak a little bit of fluid, but then you can just pump it right back up and you're good to go. All right, and then actually coming to installing them, do you need a compressor, which is what I guess we used to be told we needed when tubeless tires you, what first came out. Um, is that necessary now? I would say yes and no. It depends on your tire and rim fitment. So earlier this week we did some demos and we had I don't know, 10 or 12 sets of zip tubeless uh, wheels and zip tires. So like, since they're both made by zip, we have a pretty good interaction on the geometry. We did them all with just a hand pump. Um, but some, whenever you get like a, a really tight fit, you might need a compressor just to give it that maximum airflow to get that tire to seat perfectly. So compressor is probably the easiest, but it's, it's very doable with. Very doable, yep. All right, so other than the weight, obviously we've removed the tube from the tire and the puncture resistance. Is there any other difference really? Yeah, like tubeless tires um, on a tubeless wheel set gets a lot lower rolling resistance. And basically you don't have the tube inside on the tire rubbing against it, creating that friction. So it does lower your rolling resistance. And we're seeing a lot of people run just even a little bit uh, larger tires too because of the lower rolling resistance. So you get a little bit more comfort and uh, it'll save your legs on race day if you need to get off and run. Um, and then if you were to get 
a rather bad puncture that the sealant isn't fixing. What do you do? Are you stuffed there? Nope, not stuffed. There's a couple different options. Um, people are selling some patch kits where you actually just shove a little piece of rubber or, or whatever the material is into the, the puncture, or just like on your normal clincher. You pull the tire off, put a tube in, put the tire back on and pump it up and you're ready to go. So I guess at that point, obviously you will have lost too much air. So you'll, you'll have put that, that patch in. Yep. That's gonna fill that gap and then it's a case of pumping the tire yep. up, using a CO2 canister or a pump. Yep. And the sealant is then gonna do its work around exactly. that, right? Okay. Yep. Yeah, so it's not a case of game over, race over, yep. trip ride over. Okay, no calls home. Okay, so another couple of questions. So once the sealant's in there, um, it's all set up and ready, can you just leave it? Is that it? Or do you need to check on them from time to time? It depends on how much you ride. Like if you're riding every week, there's really not much to do other than continue to pump up your tires. But if, you're, if it's a winter bike and you set it out for you know, a few months, that sealant will dry up. So you gotta either keep spinning the tires or just be prepared to put some more sealant in after it sat for a few months. Pop your tire off, just wipe it off, and if it's dried, it's really easy, just comes out and you throw it in the trash can and go again. Brilliant. I've been riding tubeless ready wheels for a while, and I've had them set up as clincher. So what is the step now I would take to set them up as tubeless ready? So if you're riding as clincher, you probably have a rim strip in them. So you can just pull the rim strip off, get some tubeless tape. It comes in different widths for different, um, wheels. And what's the purpose of that? That's to cover the spoke holes? Yep, covers the spoke holes and, and makes uh, basically a complete surface where the sealant can't get underneath. So once you put that tire on and the tire bead seal, you have a completely contained system. So yeah, you put a couple strips of rim tape or um, tubeless tape on there, get your tire on and pump it up, you're ready to go. Well, thanks ever so much to Ben at Zip for that. I am definitely going to put my hand up here and admit that I've been too proud to ask some of these questions on tubeless tyres in the past. So I hope it has helped yourself. If you do still have some questions on tubeless tyres, then please do drop them in the comment section below and we'll do our best to answer them for you. If you like this video today, hit the thumbs up button. And if you'd like to see more videos from GTN, you can click on the globe, subscribe to the channel and be notified when our videos next come out. If you'd like to see a maintenance video that actually explains how you can install tubeless tires, you can see that by clicking just down here.